The brand new Stay Peachy merch is finally here. Head over to staypeachy.com to get your hands on the Stay Peachy Spring Collection. Are you sure that you can't hang out just a little bit longer after school? I really don't want to go back to the orphanage. It stinks there. The kids fill their diapers and then they smear poop all over the walls. And then they scream and they pull my hair and then it's, everything is like sticky. And I just really don't want to go back there today right now. Oh gosh, save the details. Um, yeah, I, I can't. Why not? What do you mean you can't? Well, believe me, I... I I could, I would. I had a lot of plans for us. We were gonna paint our nails, and we were gonna look at magazines, and maybe go shopping, but I have sports practice later. Oh no, Ugh, just the orphanage is just the worst, and no family's ever gonna wanna adopt me. I mean, I'm to the age now where, you know, like no one wants me. They want cute, adorable little babies. They don't, they don't want grown-ups. Like I'm pretty much a grown-up. I mean, I, you know, I'm like in the middle of high school, but that's still pretty much a grown-up. That's not true. Somebody's definitely gonna want you because you're super smart and people love smart kids, right? <sighs> I mean, maybe, maybe they feel like they have to do less work if their kid is already smart, but I should get going. I guess I have a lot of sitting around and doing nothing to do. I guess I could get ahead on my homework, uh, but yeah, maybe you can give me a call after your sports practice and we can get dinner or like, you know, you can invite me to stay the night again. I, I, you know, I don't know. I don't, I don't really want to be pushy. Definitely. I'll invite you to see the night. Perfect. Um, okay, so I do you want to go ahead and get walking? I mean, I know that you have to go a different way than me. It's hard. It's hard. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for all the complaining. You know what? You go to sports practice and I'll go back to the orphanage. No, I get it. It's tough. I mean, if you want to vent to me later, we can. All right, I'll give you a call. Bye. I cannot believe I've been in the orphanage for so long and no one ever wants to adopt me. I mean, I'm really nice when people come. I put on my biggest smile. I talk about all my hobbies, but you know, maybe people just aren't interested in my hobbies. Hello, I'm back. Megan, great news. A family came and filled out all the paperwork to adopt you. You're getting adopted. What? That's so shocking. Wait, uh, so seriously, you mean to tell me, coincidentally, on the day that I'm talking about how nobody ever, ever wants to adopt me, that somebody actually is coming by and to adopt me, they filled out all the paperwork without even meeting me? Yes, they did. Oh, and also, they're gonna adopt Jimmy, so you won't be all alone. Jimmy? You mean... Jimmy is getting adopted with me. Hello, Megan. Yes, I am being adopted with you. We're going to be brother and sister forever and ever and ever and ever. Oh, I'm going to miss you, too. Oh, I'm going to miss you, Please, too. Please, do not cry in front of me. This is embarrassing for you. <laughs> Jeez. Oh, I'm sorry, Jimmy. Go get your things, and I'm just going to go take you to your new house. Uh, Jimmy, are you going to bring that stinky, sticky monkey? I mean, it's got boogers all over it. Hold up, lady. You do not talk bad about Jimmy's monkey. Jimmy loves his monkey. How dare you, pink hair girl. Are you gonna bring your pink hair? It kind of stinks. My pink hair stinks. It does not. I just washed it today. How dare you talk about Jimmy's monkey? Jimmy's monkey is more important than anybody in this entire building. I will blow up this building! Okay. Um, I think we're ready to go now, Carla. Now, Jimmy, whenever we get to this new family, okay, be good. You don't want to stick that stinky monkey in their face. They'll kick you out right then and there. Megan, if the word monkey comes out of your mouth one more time, I will get my neighborhood cat friends to attack you on my command because they listen to me because I am their leader. Uh, okay, fine. I won't talk about your monkey anymore. Have you ever been cat poop, Megan? Have you ever been scratched in the eye? Because I can make that happen for you. You need help. Okay, let's meet this new family. Wow, this food is really good. I can't remember the last time I've eaten anything that wasn't microwaved. Oh, yeah, it's my specialty. That's chicken slop with green beans. Oh, my gosh, I love slop. It tastes so good. Uh, can I ask why, why you guys were so interested in adopting me and Jimmy without even, like, meeting us? Like, that's just so crazy. We just wanted to uh, have two siblings and, you know, get a little more life in this house. It's a little quiet around here, so we thought that, you know, two kids that might be a little older would be a little more fun, a little more our pace. Oh, perfect. Well, I sounds like we might be a match. Do you think maybe like you guys would be interested in going to Disney World one day? I think that'd be so fun. Oh yeah, Disney World's the best. Obviously, we'll definitely go there for sure. And I know Jimmy's really specific about his monkey. It really stinks and it's sticky with boogers. So, you know, you guys aren't going to want to try to wash that, right? Ha ha ha, Megan, you're so funny with your jokes. Hello, Whiskers. Ah! I'm on my CB radio. Start pooping. I got an entire heifer to feed. <laughs> Megan, you and your jokes in the boogers. Ah, oh, we have fun. Oh, wow. Well, I already know that we're going to get along just great with this brand new family. I'm very excited. <laughs> 
I'm gonna miss you guys so much, but this is a, this is the perfect family. Ah, lady, guys. hit the bricks. We don't care no more. We're leaving. No, we Goodbye. care. Okay, bye, bye, Carla. Thank you for don't everything. Don't forget to call me, okay? When I'm gonna call you. Get out. Why would I have a call her again? She basically raised us at the orphanage while we had to sit and wait to get adopted. See, ways you. You're really old. I'm only four years old. That's like the easiest year to raise a child. Okay, now that that woman's gone, there's a few ground rules we're gonna have to lay out around these parts. So, basically, kids are supposed to be fun. They're not supposed to be annoying. So please do not annoy us, uh, because that would be annoying. Oh, uh, Jimmy, it doesn't sound like you're gonna get off to a really good start. You can't even be annoying here. Can I tell you something, father and mother? Megan is really on my nerves, and I'm sure she's on your nerves, too. Look at you. You're bald. You already lost your hair because he's so annoying. Here's the thing. I say El Nuevo, rule number two. We make her eat cat poop every day. I'd like to see that. I get behind that. Why would you ask for something that has so much responsibility? Well, I mean, I think cats are really cute, and they're nice, and they're great companions, and they cuddle with you whenever you're scared, and they care. Guys, all you guys do is talk. Be quiet. Yeah, okay, you know what? Enough of this fun that you're having. Let's go upstairs. I'm going to lock you in your room. Uh, you mean show us our rooms? Uh, yeah, sure. Here's your room. Now you guys stay in here till morning. Oh, okay. Megan, I don't know if you can understand things like this because Jimmy has a big brain. And I also have an iPad. Where did you get that? Megan, I stole from the daycare client, okay? Jeez, don't be a, don't be a knock. Okay, okay. But I'm pretty sure that their attitude things wait when the orphanage lady left. Yeah, I know. It, it was all like, yeah, we'd love to go to Disney World. We love kids. And then all of a sudden they called us annoying and said we were going to be a drag. And then they locked us in our room. That's really weird. Yeah, and we have to stay room. Maybe um, we could just talk to them in the morning and it's all just a big misunderstanding. It's probably just been a really long day for everybody involved. If in the morning they continue to bully Jimmy, I will get them. Don't worry, Megan. I have friends in meow places. Get it, cats. <laughs> uh, okay. Okay, Jimmy, I think I heard them come and unlock the door, or else how would we be able to go to school, right? So I think the door's definitely unlocked at this point, and oh, it is! Hello, lovely oh, family! Oh, there they are! Whoa, I must be dreaming because they're up before noon. <laughs> Uh, did you guys have to be so loud? You interrupted a phone call I was having. Oh, uh, sorry. I was just really excited to come down and get to know my new family. Yeah, your mom sells candles, and this is prime selling hours, baby. So you messed it up. You're taking food off the table. Exactly. Just make sure to don't get in my way and keep blabbing your mouth so loud during the day. I have things to do. Yeah, and if any of you have, like, $100, you could buy, like, five candles or something. Um, so let me ask. Uh, are you guys able to give us a ride to school? Because it is 8 a.m., and school starts at, like, 8.10. So I just need to know if we have to start walking or, like, what the situation uh, is. Yeah, I'll give you a ride. I got a Humvee. You know what that is? That's military grade, baby. I don't think so. I think you can get one of those down at the Kia dealership. Uh, no, you can't. No, take that name out of your mouth. Kia? What am I, uh, driving around some small car? No, I'm driving around Humvee. Four miles to the gallon. Uh. Um, all right. So let's just get in the back seat, Jimmy. Hurry, I don't have all day. As you can see, we don't even have to follow the roads because I'm driving a Humvee. Um, that's kind of dangerous, don't you think? See you kids later. Are you gonna come pick us up or? Uh... Megan, I'm telling you, they are terrible people. I know, they were so mean. They didn't want anything to do with us at all. Total 180 from how it was last night. Uh, what are we gonna do? How are we gonna handle this? Should we talk to them, ask them not to be so mean? In order to beat the bullies, you have to become the bullies. We have to beat them up. I don't think that you can beat them up, Jimmy. You're literally four. And also, I don't think that would work at all. I think that would probably get us in a lot of trouble and probably in a stickier situation than we're already in. Megan, I have a master plan, okay? It doesn't involve beating up because you're right. You're a girl. You're not very strong. Zimmy's very strong, but you're not very strong. But here's my plan. I've been doing research on my iPad. Over there at the daycare, there's a playground. I have befriended a cat. I have token the glitter box and now i have a ton of poop okay interesting um i actually have to get going uh i'm gonna go talk to my best friend about the situation and get you know maybe a more realistic scope of advice you should step away from me and i will go collect some more cat poop okay bye wait no you gotta Ugh, i can't believe he's skipping school again to get cat poop uh 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 hey annie how's it been going oh hey i'm i'm gonna phone rave do you want to join i would love to phone rave I'm in a bit of a sticky situation. Yesterday I got adopted, which, you know, it 
Sounds exciting. The family is actually a big family of bullies. Bullies? What do you mean? They don't want anything to do with us. Every time I go downstairs and try to connect, they just say this awful stuff to us about how we're in their way and in their hair and kids aren't supposed to be a drag and then they locked us in a room all night. That's kind of confusing because why would you adopt a kid if you don't really seem to want kids? I, I don't know. That's exactly what I thought. Maybe they want somebody to clean their house or tax deductions. Like, I don't really know what the reason is. Well, it sounds like you've gone to a really weird household, and uh, I kind of had an idea yesterday, and I was a little afraid to um, tell you about it, but uh, I was wondering, like, what if we just ran away, you know? Ran away? I mean, what about your family? They love you. You can't just leave. Yeah, but you're my best friend, and I just want what's best for you. Imagine how much fun it would be. Unfortunately, I can't leave. I have a little brother to take care of now, and he's kind of annoying and sticky, but he depends on me, so uh, I would really appreciate the offer, but I think I just really need to see how tonight goes before I make any sort of commitment to run away and leave. Oh, it's been such a long day at school. Oh, there you kids are, finally you're home. Oh, we have some good news. The candle business, that's a total bust. But your mom, she's studying right now to be a doctor, so who wants to volunteer to be our first practice patient? Um, no thanks. I am perfectly healthy and great feeling, so I will not be needing any Let me see. doctor Let me see. care. Oh, no thanks. Please don't get near me. Right. Um, okay, 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 okay. Fine, 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 fine. If you guys are going to be babies about it, you guys should just go wash up upstairs, get ready for dinner. Um, okay. Jimmy, Jimmy, where are you? Okay, um, things do not seem to be getting any better. Do you have any ideas that don't involve cat poop? You cannot tell me it cannot involve cat poop because, as you know, I collected a bunch of cat poop all year today. I have so many cat poops. We are going to plant them. They're going to be cooking meals. Jimmy's going to slip on by and he's going to put a bunch of cat poop in it. So are you suggesting we pull a big prank on them and it might humble them? Or... I don't know, Megan. I just want to see someone eat my cat poop, okay? I pulled really hard for it. Okay, okay, okay. All right. Do you know how hard it is to perform the cat? They are very mean, okay? They tried to hit Jimmy. They tried to scratch Jimmy. But here's the thing. I kept persisting, okay? And then I showed them that I'm my monkey. And they said, okay, you'll be my friend. And then I collected their cat poop. And now I have a big bag of it. Yeah. I will run distraction for you, and you can carry out your plan. Um, family, family, I have an important announcement to make, um, but it needs to be over here while we while we watch the TV. Um, my important announcement is is that I am so excited to be a part of this family and really appreciative of you guys. And I think you guys are like the best family ever. You can tell I'm very sincere by the tone of my voice and the look on my face. Okay, Megan, stop kissing, but it's over with. Um, anyway. Anyway, that's it. So, uh, we're starving. Did you guys make us any dinner? I see some chicken over there. Well, uh, you know, we were gonna make you dinner, but, uh, there was budget requirements, candles didn't sell. So that's our dinner over there. You guys are gonna be on your own, you know, forage some berries in the backyard. Oh, yes, we will definitely find something. That is your food. We will not argue with you. You could definitely eat that food. Yeah, go go for it. Go eat it. Let us know how it tastes. <laughs> Actually, wait. Uh, I feel kind of guilty. You know, they are just kids. You know what? You guys can eat this. Your mom and I will go get takeout. Oh, uh, that's okay. I'm really not hungry. <laughs> no, no, don't be so modest. No waste in this house. You guys gotta eat every bite before you can go up to your rooms. Okay, actually, I will. <laughs> I love it. Ah, <laughs> uh, see? He likes my chicken surprise. I don't really like the chicken, but I do love the cat. I mean, I, I do like the chicken. Yes, I do like the chicken. Um, the thing is, is it smells a little funny, and I... Uh, I'm not feeling too well, so I don't think I'm gonna eat it. Hold on a minute. Is that... I know that smell anywhere. Is that cat poop? Cat poop? Uh, well, it's all Jimmy's fault. It was all his idea. He put cat poop in the food, and I had nothing to do with it, so... I knew it. I knew he was gonna cause problems. I knew he had... I knew he wanted cats. Oh. I am allergic to cats. I'm allergic to everything that has to do with cats. Just... Uh, just making it... Just smelling it makes me... Uh, 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 Whoa, I don't know, it's just, I didn't do that, Megan probably did it. You know me, I am not a bad person. No, you love cat poop. This is all your idea, I can't believe that you want to blame this all on me. Megan, you are a giant snitch. We're supposed to be in this thing together. Gosh, I mad at you and your pink hair and you're sticking me and my monkey are going upstairs. Oh, uh, yeah, uh, I am also going upstairs. Sorry, bye. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is a nightmare. I have 
to call my best friend and I have to get her over here so I could get out right now. And maybe I could even take Jimmy. He's kind of mad at me, so I don't know if he's gonna wanna go or if it's gonna go completely sour. Okay, let's just get the phone out and, uh, Annie? Hey, why are you calling so late at night? Oh, it's a nightmare. I really need you to come get me. I can text you the address and I can explain later, but I can't do it anymore with this family. It's going so wrong. Uh, me and my little brother, we really need out of this situation. Then say no more. I'll be there in about five. Okay, okay. Thank you. I'll meet you out front. Jimmy, hi. How are you doing? How's the iPad? Um, I know that we might have gotten in a little argument back there, but actually, I have some news. Well, 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 if it isn't Mrs. Swedo Pants. Wow, are you gonna tattle on me again, Megan? You stinky butt! No, 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 I have a friend coming to pick us up so we don't have to live here anymore. Megan, I'm gonna take over this house! I'm gonna rule this entire planet! Please, don't know why would I leave? I can, uh, these people are idiots, Megan, okay? I have an iPad, I can definitely take over this house. No, it's not safe for us here, Jimmy, we have to go, come on. No, Megan, if you try to leave, I'm gonna tattle on you! You're coming with me. And we're getting out of here together, whether you like it or not, because I cannot let you. Hey, everybody, help! Help! Stop yelling! Stop yelling! Hey, Stop! what are you guys doing? Okay, run, 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 hey, run, come run, back run. here! Oh, no, no, no! Hurry, get okay, in the drive, military drive. gray drug! Oh, no, they're chasing us! You're gonna have to drive away! Oh, oh, gosh, they crashed! <gasps> Are they okay? You know, it doesn't matter. Thank you so much for picking us up. I can't wait to start a new life with me and my little brother. And you don't worry, Jimmy. Wherever we go, there'll be a ton of cat poop, okay? Megan, I left my whole bag there. It's taken me many, many months. Oh, don't worry. We'll, we'll figure something out. At least you have your iPad and your monkey, right? Oh, my monkey, my monkey. Oh, yeah, I do have my monkey. Okay, I swear to God, okay. Thank you guys so much for watching today's Brookhaven roleplay video, guys. If you guys loved it, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe button, and leave a comment down below. Don't forget to hashtag stay PG, stay kind, and I will talk to you guys next time. Bye!